-hmm. You can't have it as an emotional experience. With it being, you know, so dangerous and there being so many factors involved, all you have to be focused on is what's occurring on the road, what's in front of you and what's going on. And I've learned that through just the experiences that I've had with other drivers. Michael Perez is just getting started with his second season of riding his motorcycle around Colorado Springs. He's aware of the number of motorcycle riders losing their lives in the Pikes Peak region every year and says on his route, he tries to drive defensively, always preparing for the worst case scenarios. And if you're a motorcyclist, the one thing that's the most terrifying to you is cars behind you just slamming right into you. Of course, you can mitigate everything that's ahead of you. You can control that, but you can't control the people behind you. So in those moments, I've had to understand where to place my motorcycle to find exit paths. Riding his motorcycle, Michael says he's taken mental notes of traffic safety concerns he sees on his daily commute. But just posting on social media with other motorcyclists rarely leads to changes. But I'm not sure how to communicate that to my city. I haven't really reached out nor understood if there's an easier means of suggesting easier traffic flows or just new policies for motorcyclists. In a growing city, traffic safety concerns are a common complaint. So I reached out to the Colorado Springs Police Department to find out the best ways to pass along traffic safety concerns to get them addressed. Here is what law enforcement leaders are asking us to do. First, if you're concerned about an ongoing problem with drivers in a particular area, you're encouraged to use the Go COS app to notify the police department with specific details. From there, that information is shared with the traffic unit for them to plan enforcement at that specific location. Now, if the concern is a roadway design issue or an area where you believe a speed limit needs to be adjusted, you'll get the best results by contacting the city traffic engineer's office. And if it is an emergency where there is imminent danger, you can call 911. With a better understanding of this process, Michael says he's going to speak up about traffic safety concerns and he hopes both drivers and fellow motorcyclists will do the same. Not worrying about if we're over reporting, not worrying about if we're being a nuisance, because at the end of the day, our, our intent is good and we're trying to be, you know, improving for the future. We know it can take time to get those safety issues addressed, so I spoke with a motorcycle safety expert who says these are the top three things our motorcycle riders should be doing on a daily basis to stay safe. First, motorcycle riders should keep their head and eyes up at intersections. Also, be constantly looking for people turning in front of you. And if stopped at a traffic light, watch your mirrors for traffic approaching from behind.